they don't shoot off a shotgun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they, what they do, a shotgun start basically means we're all starting on different holes at the same time. So sh all shotgun start means is everybody's starting at the same time. Okay? Um, you, if you see the bag drop, stop there. This guy stopped for me, so he, he's going to pull out his club. There's usually an attendant right there to grab his clubs and put, take him to his golf cart. At that point, you want to kind of say, they'll tell you, you're on hole 7A, 7B. Like 7A, 7B. Hmm. Okay, so I'm at 7B. So that way you can go find your cart here in a little bit. Then go to the registration table. Here's where they want some more money. Mm -hmm. If, one recommendation, if somebody played, paid for your group to play, you haven't paid a dime for this yet, go ahead and offer to pay for those things. They're usually, you know, $20 for mulligans, $50 for this. Go ahead and bring some money and go ahead and pay for that if somebody's already paid for your group. Um, yeah, mulligans, oh yeah, you want those. Those are do-overs, so if you miss it, you get another do-over. Now you may be going, no, I don't want any more shots. I just want the ones you're making me do. Then go find your golf clubs. Go find your cart. They'll be all lined up and there'll be just a sea of golf carts. You gotta go find your cart. You need to know, am I 7A or am I 7B? Okay, I'm 7B, what does that mean? I'm the second group off of hole number seven. They've put two teams on the same hole to start. So 7A is gonna go, get out of your way, then 7B will start, okay? Then, if you want to, go hit a few balls at the range. They usually provide golf balls to warm up with, so might as well get a few. They're free, you've already paid for them. So go hit a couple balls at the driving range, and you can go find a practice putting green. I'll show you what that is in a minute, but practice putting green, go hit a few um, putts on the putting green. Most tournaments include lots of wonderful food, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Know what you're getting into, because usually they have either a breakfast and lunch or a lunch and a dinner. They're usually fabulous. Um, use the restroom before you leave, especially the ladies, because some golf courses, a lot of them nowadays do have um, little restrooms out on the golf course, but sometimes they're the porta pots. Ooh. So um, <laughs> use the restroom before you go because you may not see one for two to three hours. So that's my tip to the guys. Oh, yeah, you'll see them out over there in the trees. <laughs> You're going, oh, what are they doing? Not totally appropriate because don't forget, just because you don't have a woman in your group, we might be in the group behind going, huh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after you've warmed up, after you've gone and had lunch and everything, you were there an hour ahead of time, so you had time to eat and everything. Ten minutes? Go to your cart, because when they say shotgun start, they really would like for you to be teeing off at 1 o'clock, not going to your cart at 1 o'clock. So go to your cart about 10 minutes before. <laughs> oh, I had to drive that golf cart. So those of you beginners, this is one thing that I found that some people are so embarrassed that they either didn't know how to drive the cart, drove it in the wrong spot. So I want you to be aware of where to go. Now, if you're a beginner and you have somebody who's more advanced, just let them drive and you can just kind of watch and learn. But there is an on-off switch. You just turn the little key to on. There's a forward button. The middle is neutral. The back is reverse and it buzzes. And then you'll know you're going back. Next most important thing, okay, it's a go, but go accelerator just like a car. It's a brake. With that parking brake there, that's important. Up on the hill, you need to press that thing so it goes click, 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 and it'll hold kind of like a parking brake in a car. But you're just kind of using that little tip to press down on it to get it to stay in park so your cart doesn't go rolling down the hill. <laughs> Where to drive the cart? Drive the cart on the cart path, and you'll have no problems. But sometimes golf courses will say the carts are okay to go on fairways. So what they want you to do is enter into the fairway. You go up, don't drive on the tee box, I'll tell you that here in a minute. Go into the fairway and stay into the fairway and then until it says golf carts out. And then you leave the fairway and go back to the tee. Now some of you are going, Barbara, back up, there's what is a fairway? I'm going to show you. <laughs> 90 degree rule. I always like this one. 90 degree, what does that mean? Temperature? 90 degree means you drive your cart up on the cart path until you're 90 degrees from your golf ball. You go in, you hit your golf ball, you go out, and then you drive on the cart path again and you keep on going. So most courses here in St. Louis have zoysia fairways, and they would rather you drive them in the fairway because the zoysia grass is really tough and, and um, has, it's fine for you to drive on. It doesn't hurt it at all. Where not to drive. This is the one you really, really want to know. I had this poor lady. She's trying to play golf because her boyfriend 
loves to play golf. He's out there every day, and she really, really wants to play. So she's like, oh, I'll drive the cart. She drove it right up onto the green. And she, she's, he's like, you can't drive it on the green? She's like, okay, all the grass is green. How am I supposed to move that grass the green? What are you trying to do here? So this is the team ground where the little tee markers are. This is where you start the hole. The sand, don't drive in the sand either. Do not drive in the sand. And don't drive on the green. How do I know what the green is? It's the shortest grass. And it has that flag stick with the flag on it. Don't drive anywhere near that flag. You'll be fine. Golf course, there it is. Tee box, fairway, green, bunker, out of bounds, water hazards. Those are all the things that you can find on the golf course. You'll notice we have different sets of tees, blue, white, or red. Depends on how long the hole is. Oh, most of the women get to play the red tees. Seniors generally play the white tees. And then the men play the blue tees usually in a scramble. So they'll have those set up of which tees you get to play. Red are the closest ones. That's why men like having women on their team because they get a head start. Women get a head start, so all we have to do is hit it off there. You need your driver, the big one, your golf ball and tee. So you get up there, grab your driver, driver, golf ball and tee, you'll be in good shape. Teeing ground, park the cart on the cart path. Oh, this is a great one. Everyone hits the tee shot. This is the tee marker here. There's another one over here. The fairway is down here. This guy is looking for his drive. So I just want to tell you, it's okay to come play in a scramble, okay? Because we don't have to use it. This guy's looking down there. He's hit one down the fairway. So we're going to use this guy's drive. So see, you can hit that one. Just make sure I'm not around taking a picture of you so that you, you know, get up on an enterprise uh, <laughs> seminar here. Go to the best shot, pick up the others. We're going to use our longest favorite club. So we want to go. You notice there's a whole bunch of different links in here. We want to grab a different club. She grabbed her five iron for me. It's a longer one so she can hit her next shot towards the green because here's the fairway. So that guy drove it like right down there. Now they're all picking up their golf balls. They're going to go to here to hit into the green. Putting green is where like, oh my gosh, I could spend a whole day on the putting green. Just be very careful on the putting green. The putting green, definitely park the cart on the cart path. Don't be that poor lady that's trying to impress her boyfriend and then drove on the green. Use your putter, not the P. This is the one I was telling you about before. Use your putter, the flat, the flat one, not the P. Okay? Use your putter, not the P. <coughs> putting green etiquette. I showed you the little divot tool. The ball hits the green and makes these marks. We have to fix our ball marks. Don't step on the hole. Don't shuffle or twist your feet because if you have spikes like this or even you don't, you can just can you hear it even on the carpet. It's like scratches and it'll just scratch up the green. And then don't walk in the line of somebody playing. That would be very important as beginners. He's putting here. She's putting here. She's putting here. The hole is here. I'm not allowed to walk in between the ball and the hole. I want to stay away from that. Mark the ball with that lucky coin I showed you earlier. Select the ball that's closest to the hole, pick up the others. Beginner golfers, usually beginner players, play first. Go ahead and hit, get it out of the way. Scrambles are fun. We have teamwork. I think Alonzo alluded to, I love that. How'd you say that? Golf is a metaphor for life, and it is. It's about teamwork. It's about um, showing your personality on the golf course. So if you have a little temper, control it. Because <laughs> otherwise we know you're going to have a temper at work too <laughs> and everywhere else. So you want to be careful of how you act on the golf course because keep it fun. Keep it fun. They have beverage stations. Yeah, they have beverage carts. There's, you will not go hungry or thirsty out on the scrambles. Golf shot, I just threw these up here. If you guys want to know, hook goes left, slice goes right. Hook has four letters, left has four letters. Slice has five letters, right has five letters. A whiff, it's a complete miss, and it counts as a stroke. So if you whiff it, let the other guy hit it, and you just pick yours up and go on to his shot, because he can have the better one. If you hear somebody yell, four, and they yell it, four, 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 that means cover your head and get down, because there's a ball coming at you. And you do not want to get hit by a golf ball, because they are hard as rock. A few extra tips. Don't disturb golfers preparing to hit. Play fast. Take care of the golf course. 
Summary, get lessons. I recommend getting lessons. Don't be afraid to go play in a scramble, though. Practice, play, leave the swing instruction to the golf professional. Play in those scrambles, though. Have fun. They are a great way to meet people. They're a great way to network, and you can get out of the office, and you're doing it for charity. So it is a wonderful thing. So um, have fun with it. Contact me with any questions you guys have. You don't have to come to me for golf lessons. I can direct you to anybody, whatever you want to do. But if you are interested in the Learn to Play in a Day, let me know. I've got some openings in October. I'll also do it again in the spring. So feel free to contact me with Create Your Own. You can also contact me for private golf lessons. Um, we'll give them my contact info? We can. Okay. So uh, anyway, let's go play golf. Thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.